Hi everybody. Oh. Welcome to Snap Vegan, where eating on the cheap doesn't have to kill you. I'm Kathy, and today we're going to talk about what happens when you get a nuclear stress test. I just had one today. It's an event I hope I never have to repeat. But here's how it went. First you go in the radiology department. They give you a, a, an IV in your arm, you know, one of those little tiny little butterfly things. Doesn't hurt, no big deal. And then, of course, they tape it to your arm because they're going to be doing stuff all day long. And uh, they inject a nuclear fluid into you. And it makes you breathe fumes, if you know what I'm talking about. It made me feel a little, a little warm. Not, not, no big deal. Uh, but the biggest effect on me was, you could, you know, you could smell, or you could feel and smell the, and taste the chemical. And it was like a fume. I don't know how to explain it. If you've ever had something like that, CT scan, something like that, you kind of get the thing. You, you kind of breathe in. You're kind of breathing it, but that subsides fairly quickly. <clears throat> then you have to rest for an hour. And they just took me back and set me in a chair by a table. Lots of magazines next door and stuff like that. And uh, here's a short video of that I took right after that first injection. So they have me just sitting here. I've already been shot with some nuclear material. So now I have to wait an hour. And then they do something and then they have to give me some more and then I get the stress part. I'm getting the injection, not the treadmill, because of my shoulder and hips. So um, it said it'd be about three hours. So that means 12. And it's like having, it feels like having a uh, rubbing glue, what do you call it? Rubber cement? The fumes in your lungs. That's what it tastes, feels like in kind of a uh, fumey, um, breath. Okay, so not much else to add. See you in a bit. Okay. So, after that, they took me into a room that uh, had a, like a scanning bed. Uh, it looks kind of like an MRI tunnel, but smaller, with a bed. And then beside you are these two cameras. You know how x-ray plates look, the big ones that they put up against you that you have to lean into or whatever to take a picture? It looks like two of those connected by a hinge and they, they, they circle your body. They go this way, this way, this way, this way, and then they come back up and do it again. And then, well first it lowers down close to you and then it does that. And then when it's done, it raises back up. and. All that time, and you can't feel it. I didn't feel it, but the bed was elevating, and I was going into that tunnel. <laughs> I had no idea. I, <laughs> I didn't know I was being elevated ever so slightly. And then, because uh, when the cameras came back down, you know, and finished, the bed went, you know, the bed came down like, wow, I didn't even realize I had gone up. Crazy. Okay, so that was done. And then um, I had to wait uh, an hour. <laughs> and during that hour, I had my pedometer with me, so I just walked, walked back and forth, walked back and forth for a while. And then, I, and then so then they come in, and then they tell you, uh, now we're going to do your stress test. So the stress test, which I had, was a chemical one which they inject something in that expands your blood vessels and makes your heart like pump hard. 
So uh, you go in and there is a treadmill there, there is a bed and a chair, and then there are EKG machines, you know, and stuff like that. <clears throat> so they attach 10 leads to you, four of them ladies right under your, right under your breast on the left side, and, um, or in my case on the right side, uh, no, it was, it was the left side, I'm sorry. <laughs> this camera is reversed. Anyway, um, so they, they hook all the leads up to you, you know, check out the machine, then they run an initial e EKG, and it was like, I don't know, it was like five sheets of, five sheets of paper running for the pretest. Okay, so, then they uh, did me another nuclear shot, just like the first one. Then I had a nurse come in, and then my cardiologist partner came in to supervise, oversee everything. Now, I had never met him. I have Dr. Choi, and then I have Robin Cartwright. And, um, but this was another fellow, and I can't remember his name. Very kind, very compassionate, very, taught me through the whole thing. Awesome. Okay, so, even if it's a chemical test, you still are on the treadmill, but you're walking slow. Very slow. And in my opinion, I thought it was too slow. But, you know, but you have to stay up close to that front bar. And there's two bars up beside you, but you stand up close to that front bar, and you're walking. Slow. Slow. I thought it was too slow. I'm like, come on, kick it up a notch. <laughs> but it's really slow. Okay, and I'm doing well. I'm doing. I'm doing good. Everything's great. All's well with the world. And then the doctor says to me, um, "Okay, Kathy, we're getting ready to inject you with this." And it, it starts with an A T or an A D. I can't remember. Um, my phone is ringing. Who is it? I don't know them. Um, so, uh, anyway, so they say, okay, we're going to do this. It's coming in slow, and he told me what I was going to feel. You're going to feel like a really super hot flash. It's going to rush to your head. You need to keep your eyes open. You need to stay focused ahead. You need to keep walking. Just keep it slow. Keep it at this pace. And let me tell you, when that stuff hit my body, it was like my head. <laughs> you, you see mask? How it, it expands. <laughs> That's what it felt like. <laughs> it felt like my whole forehead was just morphing out and every hair follicle hurt. You know, have you ever had hair follicles hurt? Well, all of my hair follicles felt like that. Then I got a rush to my temples and man, it was like, but you have to keep walking. And he talked me, oh, excuse me, and he talked me through it all, and it lasted four minutes. Those were the four longest minutes of my life in recent decades. <laughs> and then they inject something else into you that stops those effects. And then you can feel it backing off. And he said he got everything he needed. He was telling me, okay, Kathy, you, we've only got 30 seconds left of this. Come on, you're doing great. You're doing great. Now, I was so involved uh, with not passing out and hanging on and doing what he said because he was a great coach. Great coach. But I started dragging my feet. You know, and, okay, come on, pick up your feet. And stay focused, come on. And... He says, okay, Kathy, we got everything we need. Back her off. And she put that stuff in, and it, you could start feeling like return to normal. And he goes, he goes, you did great. We've got everything we came here to have. And I, I was so focused, like I said, on staying on track and doing, I didn't notice how high my heart rate had gotten up to before he backed it off. So, I can't tell you how high I went. I don't know. I guess I'll find out in a couple of days. They said the results will be in in a couple of days. And uh, it'll be on my chart online. Yay. Uh, and I can check it out and read the report and stuff like that. So, uh, after that, 
<laughs> after it's not over. Oh, no, 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 it's not over. After that, they say, okay, you have 30 minutes. Go get something to eat. So you have 30 minutes to go get something to eat. And um, then, uh, uh, then you come back and they scan you again one more time for the after uh, you know uh, another resting scan and same thing same bed same you know things going around you uh, and it only goes to your side it doesn't go all the way around you but uh, so you have that final final scan no more injections and then your stress test is over so that is how a nuclear, a chemical nuclear um, stress test works. I just finished mine today, and I'll come back with another video to tell you about the rest of my day. <laughs> Do I look pale? Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm white. But anyway, that's how a nuclear stress test works, and I'm glad I could share it with you. And um, hot off the press still banded just wanted to make sure you know and that uh, it's uh, it's it's different and it's like oh my goodness but it's overall not too bad just be prepared to come home and take a nap afterwards okay and get something to eat <laughs> talk to you later I'll be back because I want to make another video about this whole day and you are like going to go Oh my goodness. <laughs> Talk to you later. See you in a bit. Bye.